Hey guys, so today I'm going to be building a tortoise table out of this. Um, I recently acquired like a bunch of stuff from uh, somebody gave me two turtles, but they also gave me a ton of stuff. And I think like a filter sat on this or like a tub or something. But what I'm going to use it for is a tortoise table and it's bigger than the tortoise table that came with my tortoise that I also took in. So um, I am just going to be uh, basically building this out of complete scraps. So, um, there's this. I would build, like, the bottom differently, except it's nailed together, so, like, I don't really feel like taking it apart, but, I mean, this works pretty well. Um, I think that'll be just fine. And then what I'm going to be using for the, um, Sorry, that's my goat in the background, or my goats in the background, by the way. I'm going to use this type of wood for the sides. Um, this is also, or this is leftover wood, no idea where it came from. Um, I'll be using it for the sides, and I'm, I'm going to have to be kind of, like, um, particular about how I put it together so then I can keep this white stuff because it's not on all sides, as you can see. But I've already planned out how I'm going to do it, um, and this will be one side. I think it's they'll be screwed onto the side. Um, and then I'm also going to build a lid as well. Now this part will be stained, so then it doesn't like rot and stuff with, uh, I'm gonna put soil in it, but not a whole lot. And then um, it should end up working pretty well. And then I'll go ahead and set it up inside with UVB and heat and everything. And then eventually I might bring it outside. Um, for a little while before I get the proper outside enclosure built. But um, that's that's just the plan I have. This is, there's different projects going on in here. This is the old iguana's cage. Um, I have this as well. I'm gonna have to cut it with the table saw to get it the right height, but um, it should all work pretty well. To start off, I sanded this table down and there was like a nail sticking out, so I cut that off. And then I started cutting the sides so I made the the back to be a little bit longer and then I got all the sides how I wanted them so then the everything you would see would be covered in the um, that material there. And then I looks like I'm starting to work on the the top now. So I wanted a top with a screen, so then I had something to set the lights on and also something to protect the tortoise just from anything and the tortoise wouldn't be able to get out at all so um once i got everything built how i wanted it i um put uh tape on it so i could um paint it so i'm actually stain or staining it slash varnishing it so i'm going ahead and doing that i did the top um there that that would and then i'm doing the the top piece now um so it would be able to dry a little bit and then I went ahead flipped it over and started to do the bottom If I was patient then I would have waited for the top to dry and then like flipped over done the bottom or whatever and what this Because I wasn't patient um, It ended up like dripping on the white so that's what I really didn't want to happen so I went ahead and I was actually able to clean that off and then I um, stain and varnished that again because I want that area is going to have dirt on it and I want it to be really protected. Then once it dried a little bit, I added on the top. So I have been working on this all day, officially, um, the entire day. And I can now step away from it because I can't do anything until it dries. I would go ahead and screw on the hinges, but... Um, that's still drying and if I set it on top then it would leave marks around but uh yeah I got the stuff on top of the lid so the lid's done but sadly I didn't have enough of this type of wire to do the entire thing so I had to um, throw in some of that type of wire and I went ahead and overlapped it doesn't look very good at all but that's all right um Overall, I think this build looks pretty great for basically using only scraps. Like I just, um, all of this type, all, any of this wood type of thing would have been eventually burned probably, not used for anything. 
and um I mean the screws are always something you buy and then um I mean I keep the fencing for this very project or for for this very type of project so um yeah I think it worked out really well and then I'll be able to get Beatrice in here um and then I made a little hide right here so here are the hinges and everything to screw um the the top in but like I said, I don't want to do that yet. But I made this little hide. Doesn't look amazing, but this is actually the back. Um, that'll be up against. It'll be inside of that enclosure. And then this area right here is the is the entrance. And then I'm thinking that should be able to get on top of that as well. And then I have this. Um, you might be wondering what this is for. It's just a little overhang to kind of let Beatrice hide a little bit. So I'm thinking about putting that. Um, into into this corner here and then um she could have like this area to hide and then that area to hide and then all of this space to move around so just giving her different options uh generally i like to use naturalistic type of things but i went ahead and made that because it just is it it's really more efficient in space than like trying to find a piece of wood that would fit there um that would it wouldn't provide the same amount of hiding space. So um, just for her sake, I went ahead and did that. And then I'll put rocks around it and stuff. This isn't a permanent enclosure, but I think it looks pretty good because it's going to be in the house. So I figured why not make it look nice. So um, I'm glad that I went ahead and put the work into it. I'm really hoping that when I take the tape off, um, there won't be too many um, like, like uh, spots and stuff that um, kind of ruin it, so. So I wanna say the next day I went ahead and took off the painter's tape and there wasn't too many um, issues there. And then I also added on the top onto it. And then I think the day after that, I went ahead and moved it inside. Um, so I'm putting it in this corner here in our living room because I definitely don't have any room to do it in my room. And it was pretty difficult to move, it was like just, like just all right for me to actually be able to lift up. So the stain is pretty much drying, um, or it's pretty much dried, and um, it's just a little bit sticky in some places, not so much on top, but more on bottom, but it also has quite a strong smell still. So I'm just gonna let it sit here and air out. Um, I mean, the whole top's screen, so it's just gonna air out before I set it up. I already have everything to set it up, I just can't exactly do that. Okay, yet. so I'm going to set up the enclosure now. I went ahead and moved all the materials for it here, um, like last night, I think. So I have um, the dirt from her old enclosure that I sanitized and that I just put in a bag, so I'm glad I still have that. And then I have the dirt that was um, that I, I dried so then I could use on backgrounds in the future. And then I have... Um, this which with a with a heater so I got this from getting some turtles and I got that heat light from getting some turtles and then I got this UVB from getting some turtles and I got this from getting some turtles um, <laughs> I don't know about the UVB but it's bigger than anything I have else so I figure why not and it seemed like a new um, bulb so I hopefully it'll be all right I wish I had a uh, measure of UVB and then um, these lights will need a timer and there's a timer over um, on the other side of the room for Richard so I'm just going to run this behind the couch and then connect it to this and connect the lights up and then I have this that I was these were that these were going to be used in a different closure but I'm not going to use those now so I'm going to use those for this so let's set it up. I first went to plug in the lights I won't have any nighttime heat on this enclosure but Russian tortoises can take that as well as it's becoming summer so it's going to start warming up during the night times in my house um, and then I added the substrate so here I added a water bowl real quick and I'm going to go ahead and fill that with water and then I'll go ahead and add her there we are so I wasn't um I think this would be the best thing I could use for a water bowl for her um and then we'll go ahead and throw in here so it's very dry in here but as far as I know they like a very dry environment so 
that'll be good. I actually can't get it wet in here or it would leak onto my floor because this isn't watertight or anything because I made it for a dry tortoise so um, or desert species or whatnot. So she's going to go in there and then she's not going to be able to open this at all. And there she goes. So I actually plan on her climbing up here. Um, I, f I figure that. I figure that she will. I personally feel like that would be enrichment for her. So as you can see, I built up the rock. I built up the rocks there. Here, it's a little bit easier to see like this. I built up the rocks there. Um, so then she can climb up here, go down there. She can hide under here, hide under there. Um, this will probably be a Actually, that'll probably be our basking spot. This will probably be our food spot right here. Um, so I put some slate rocks, and I think that this would be this will be pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add her light there, and then I will add her UVB um, probably right around right around there. So kind of gets a bigger span than just um, one little area. And then I'll have to move these every time I lift up the enclosure. But that is all right. This gives her lots of room to move around, even though it isn't exactly the most ideal thing because it's, I mean, it's, um, it's plain, but I think that they like that. So, um, and it has some barriers and different things. So um, I think that she'll like the rocks, as you can see, she's already climbing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on these lights. So this is it, the finished heat and everything. Um, not exactly great for viewing purposes here of the tortoise, but that's all right. Um, hopefully she'll do much better in here than she did in the iguana's cage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that this is a pretty fantastic build here because I did it all by myself. So, um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, up in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. One thing that I wanted to mention is this is all scrap pieces, which I think is pretty cool. So um, that, everything, just everything was going to be used for something else or uh, just came from something else. I didn't buy a thing for this whole, his whole thing. I didn't even buy the tortoise, honestly, which is how most of my setups are set up. They're just, but this one's pretty cool because it's, it's made of a lot of elements and it's, and that's how I set it up. Have a great day.